Antonia Romakar and welcome to Russian with Passion. Today we're going to discuss a very interesting letter in the Russian alphabet and the sound. So, uh, it is the letter SH. Some foreigners find it very hard and challenging to pronounce this sound and the reason why I've decided to um, pay special attention to it, is that I heard some foreigners pronouncing this sound so wrong. Now let's take a look at one um, episode from a TV series called Desperate Housewives. Notice the way people pronounce the word borsh. Mm, what smells so good? That's borscht. Borscht! Arena's making dinner. <laughs> How are you going to afford a three-bedroom apartment while you're going to college? He tell them. I said pushed. Blinded by a piece of self-serving Euro trash who would sell her own mother for a pair of designer jeans. <gasps> they say borscht. It is wrong. And by the way, this blonde, this blondie thing. She's not Russian, believe me, because when she speaks Russian, my ears are just turning blue and falling off. <laughs> Sorry for that. Anyway, so that you could pronounce this uh, sound perfectly and you would not sound like that, um, well, let's practice and let's discuss this uh, letter and sound in more details. So, according to some resources, the letter SH is pronounced as combination of two sounds sh and ch but that's not correct so you should say something like sh ch sh ch and in this way you are supposed to pronounce this word as borscht it is closer to tell the, the truth if you pronounce it like that it will be better than borscht however it is still not correct close but not correct. So, pronouncing this letter as the combination of the sound sh and ch, like in the phrase fresh cheese, is, well, not such a very good idea, but you are getting closer. However, we need to discuss it a little bit more. Um, so, here, uh, this sound should be transcribed like that. Uh, however, it is pronounced uh, as a palatalized letter SH. So, if you know how to pronounce Russian palat palatalized sounds, Russian soft sounds, then you should not have problems with, with SH. Because SH is a palatalized version of the sound SH. Here, or it is soft, while SH is hard. Thus, in order to pronounce sh, you are supposed to raise your tongue closer to the hard palate and make it a little bit flat. This way you uh, make uh, sounds soft, like you say t, t, v, v, l, l. So, however, now let's discuss this letter, uh, let's compare sh and sh. Maybe it will get a little bit easier and more understandable for you. When you pronounce these two sounds, your lips and your teeth do not change their position. So, for example, you say, you round your lips a little bit and protrude them. So you say, sh, 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 sh. like that. Your teeth are close together. So you say, Shh, 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 and the only thing that moves and changes its position is your tongue. So we, when you pronounce the sound shh, it is somewhere in uh, between the bottom of your mouth and the top of your mouth. Mouth. So you say shh. It does not touch anything. However, when you pronounce shh, shh. It is softer and your tongue is closer. It is moved a little, moves a little bit up. It is closer to your hard palate. Shh, shh. 
and by the way, to tell the truth, the, uh, your lips move a little bit. Actually, your whole mouth becomes a little bit tenser. Shh. More relaxed. Shh. Tense. So, take a closer look at my face. See how it changes. Shh. 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 Okay, now let's talk some more. Shh is close to the sound, to the first sound in the English word ship. So you do not say ship, <laughs> you say ship. So sh is a little bit softer than usual. Sharp, it's sh. Ship, it's different. So uh, the Russian uh, letter uh, sound sh is very close. However, you should stretch it a little more. Sh, borsh, borsh. Do not say borscht. Do not say borscht. Say borsh, borsh. Now let's take a look at some examples. First is going to be uh, examples of the letter sh, of the sound sh. Not sh, but sh, without these little tail, without it, yeah, sh. So, shag, sorry, it should be pronounced shak. G is vo vo becomes voiceless. Shak. Шесть. Шить. Once again, repeat after me. Шак. Шесть. Шить. Now let's practice some words with the sound ш, with this little tail. Счастье. By the way, notice that two letters с and ч can be pronounced as ш. And this is an example. Счастье. Make it long, make it soft. Счастье. Щенок. Щи. Once again, repeat after me. Счастье. Щенок. Щи. Okay, now I hope that this sound is more understandable for you. Now you can master it and pronounce the word borsh correctly. Anyway, of course we're going to continue discussing Russian sounds, Russian letters, because, uh, of course, Ru the Russian alphabet is not a piece of cake. Anyway, if you want to speak Russian, if you want to understand Russian, you should learn our alphabet. Please do. It's actually not that hard. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you liked it. If you actually did, please push the button. Well, I hope to see you soon in my next videos devoted to Russian and English. Do not forget that on this channel you study English too. So, hope to see you soon. Keep studying the languages with me and happy Russian and English practice. Bye-bye!